Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm just going to do some work with my Cattleya nobilior, which the season has just started. I've got three plants in, in bloom and loads with, uh, with buds. So I'm really anxious. And, but I just want to show you something uh, before. This is a Cattleya uh, valkyriana. Uh, it's, got, it's a Valkyriana venosa. I hope you can see the veins here on the petals. It's very round, the petals. Uh, very pleasing. Um, it's got a good shape and uh, it's a very good plant. And this is another plant which is a Cerulea, which is a kind of a bluish lilac uh, kind of color and um, it's got round petals as well. It's a very large uh, flower for uh, this kind of uh, plant of and this one is also very large I'm very pleased with them this is called Valtair uh, number one Cerulia one thing that I would like to show you about the differences between um, Cattleya nobiler and Cattleya valkyriana is that Nobiler, most of the time, 90% of the time, they are bifoliates. They're very similar, they're cousins. Uh, and while Valkyriana, they are always, 90% um, of the time, not always, they are unifoliate. Um, Catalina Nobil uh, Valkyriana start blooming in March here in Brazil. And it's still we are at the end of July, August, September. Sometimes they have two blooms. Uh, they come back in October, November. They have another bloom. Not always, but uh, it's, uh, that's one main difference. Another main difference, if you can see this part here of the orchid, I call it nose. But in fact, it's uh, the proper name is the colium. That's where you have the sexual organs of the plant. So the bees or the insect lands here and walk all the way up there, rubs against the pollen, and then comes out and pollinates another plant. Um, as you can see, let me show you the map here. It's a little bit rough. This is, um, let's, let's pretend this is the Valkyriana, and you have got here the petals and the sepals. Labellum is a modified um, sepala, sepal. And what we have here, here we have the colum, and here we have the labellum. The labellum has got these two wings on the sides. Can you see that? And this is the labellum that we normally refer to. And what happens with Cattleya? Um, Valkyriana is that the two wings they cover partially the nose, the colon. Look at that. While, um, no, they don't close completely. So we have here the nose. So with Cattleya Valkyriana, what happens is that they don't close completely. The colum, it's a little bit more open, as you can see here, it's a little bit more open. While with nobiler, you can see much more of the wings of the labellum, right? Let's see another example here. I have to be careful because, well, I'm not sure I'm going to be, well, here. This is another plant. So the wing covers a little bit more the um, nose, the colum. Another very uh, striking difference is the design of the Nobilion labellum. It's very, very um, special. Uh, while with um, uh, Cattleya's Valkyrianus, you don't see that. You see a simpler kind of labellum. There is another third parent from this two, which is called Cattleya mesquitae. And Cattleya mesquitae has got characteristics from a Valkyriana and from a Nobiler together. Up to recent years, uh, it was thought that Cattleya uh, mesquitae uh, is a cross between the two plants. 
it's a hybrid between the two plants and uh, it occurs um, in the intersection between the the regions where they both grow. Um, Cattleya nobilior is much more to the north of uh, the central, uh, the north of the country in very arid uh, regions where uh, the trees drop their leaves in winter and it's near um, rivers and um, uh, springs, water springs and little lakes or swamps that are not lakes any longer but but they have a lot of moisture but they receive a lot of luminosity during the day a lot in the wild you can see them and you, you look at them and you think they're dead basically because they suffer so much but they have got um, um, morning uh, early morning dawn um, uh, how do you call that uh, moisture uh, in the mornings so they get moisture every every morning so much so that I was reading the other day in a magazine a Brazilian magazine that the nobilias need to be watered only during the night even in winter which contradicts everything that you imagine about uh, about watering in winter or orchids in winter um, I'll show you later in a, in a second. But what happened is that all the process that they have be, they have adapted themselves to processing growth and uh, um, uh, feeding uh, absorption happens during the night and uh, during the day. All the stomachs and the roots and everything they just like close down to prevent. Uh, moisture loss but uh, well it must it makes sense but it's something very confusing i think while the cattleya valkyriana it's more to the south here in the state of sao paulo where there's winter actually both plants they suffer from very cold weather uh, overnight in winter and they're very resilient but um basically is it is that all so the the bifoliate unifoliate the labellum and also the uh, colum and regions where they grow i hope that's all uh, i hope you enjoy that i'm gonna show you how to um arrange the flowers for the nobilia in a second and uh, it's gonna be the next uh, uh next movie next story okay bye bye <laughs>